Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video I will show you how you can use Download Manager in Android to download any type of file from the internet. Download Manager is a system service so that comes from the Android operating system directly and is also managed by the Android operating system which makes things very easy for us so it already comes with a notification with progress, it comes like with a reminder when the download is finished, it already handles all the saving in our downloads directory for us so it's a, a, a very convenient solution for us to download files from the internet. And here, if I quickly relaunch my app here, then you will see how this works. Well, the progress didn't show because the download was so fast, but we in the end just downloaded an image here from my website, but you can use any type of file where you have a valid download link. And if we go to our downloads directory, here is our downloaded file, which you can then access afterwards. Now I'll show you how we can do this and how we can also integrate this into an existing architecture in a very nice and scalable way. First of all, I want to go to our root directory and here we want to create a new file called downloader and that will be an interface which we can then use in our view models, in our domain layer, wherever we want to easily um, yeah, access our download service without actually binding our view model to a specific Android service which would not make it locally unit testable. So in here we will have a function download file we pass the URL where we want to download it from and it will return along which is the ID of that downloaded file which you can then use to access or to yeah, to kind of query specific downloaded files from download manager for example if we want to know if the download finished or so. Then we can implement the actual implementation of this downloader interface which I will call Android Downloader. Select class, make that implement our downloader interface and give it access to our context in the constructor. Then we will have our download file function and here we will simply create a private val called download manager and this is simply a system service so we can say context.getSystemService and we need to pass our download manager double colon class at Java. So this just refers to the Android service and we can then use it to schedule a certain download which you can then use here. First of all we want to define our download request which just yeah, combines all the options and configuration we want to have for that uh, specific download. So val request is download manager dot request in here we need to pass our URI which is simply URL dot to URI so we just convert our string to a URI and now we can configure that request. On the one hand we want to set the MIME type of our download and of course depending on what kind of downloader you have here if you have flexible MIME types then you need some kind of MIME type parser that takes your URL and kind of yeah, just extracts the MIME type out of that. In our case we are just downloading an image so I will hardcode this here image slash jpeg but again if you have a URL and the end of the URL has maybe um, file.zip then you know the file type is zip and you can parse the MIME type based on that. And then what we can do is we can set the allowed network types so depending on your download you might only want to enable this for um, Wi-Fi so only if the user is actually connected to a Wi-Fi network and not to your to the mobile network to not cause any further charges. So we could do this with download manager dot request dot network Wi-Fi or network mobile. So we could also combine these which would not make any sense which I think is the default but let's set this to Wi-Fi just for demonstration here. We can then set the notification visibility so what kind of notification we actually want. Let's get that or those flags from download manager request dot visibility. Um, let's use visibility visible notify completed so this will stay visible for the whole duration of the download and then also come with a notification when the download is finished if you choose visible then that means it will show the progress of the download but not when it's finished visibility hidden is well no notification at all and visibility visible notify only completion means yeah that the user will only get a notification when the download succeeded but not for the progress so Let's choose this one to get the maximum amount of information. We can then set a title for our file, which I will just call image.jpg. We can theoretically add a request header that is relevant if you download from an API, from a backend, where you need some kind of token or so to authenticate. And then you could attach that here. So for example, for the authorize Zation header and then pass your token using bearer whatever your token we don't have that here for my website 
But in case you do have that, then you need to do that to simply attach headers to your um, HTTP request this download service will make. And very importantly, you want to set the destination in external public directory to also find our downloaded file in our public downloads directory afterwards. The directory type is environment.directorydownloads and the subpath is simply our image JPEG again. It's simply image.jpg and here as well. And yeah, there are a bunch of more options we could choose from here. Um, but yeah, for example, set requires device idle, set requires charging to only download if your device is actually charging. Um, so yeah, you can, you can play around with that. Let's leave our request as it is and then simply return download manager dot nq to nq that request and the return value of this will be the the id download manager will assign to our download which you can then use to query further information about it if we now want to know when that download actually finished inside of our app then what we need to do is we need to specify a broadcast receiver so the android system will send a broadcast event to our app when the download is finished um, so we can't simply work with a callback here because it could be that our app is not um, active anymore when the download finished. So the callback would not be triggered in that case. Instead, we want to register a broadcast receiver. So in here, we create a new class, download completed receiver. And that is a broadcast receiver. In here, we will have an on receive function where we want to, first of all, replace this with context, this with intent. I want to check if that intent, that action is equal to android.intent.action.download complete. So we just check if it's really that event we're looking for. Then we get the ID out of that intent. So intent get long extra and we don't need the null check here. Get long extra. The extra is simply download. Oops. Download manager extra download ID and the default value is minus 1L. And if this ID is not equal to minus 1L, so if it is a valid ID, then in our case, we can simply print it. So print line, oh, come on, print line, download with ID, ID finished. And I'm actually not sure right now if this will also be called for failed downloads. Um, so if it will pass an ID, if the download failed, but you can find that out by um, a simple query. So you could also get a reference to download manager here. Download manager manager is a download manager. And you then set that equal to context, get system service, um, download manager like this. And yes, that needs to be nullable. Let's assert this is not null here just for demo. And then uh, this download manager also has a function to query. So um, here you can pass a download manager query. So that would probably be like, well, query is download manager dot query. And then you can set the filter by ID. So you can filter for a certain ID or for a certain status, and they can find out what the status of that download is um, to actually check if it is like a, if it is pending, if it is successful, failed or whatever. So just to mention that, that you can also query certain downloads given their ID. We then want to go to our manifest to register this broadcast receiver below our activity. We want to have a receiver tag for download completed receiver. The exported flag is true so that other apps can send broadcasts to our app when the download is actually completed. And then we specify an intent filter to actually receive broadcasts for our given action, where we say the action is, um, do we have download completed? No, we don't have that here, but it still exists. So we can go to a receiver, copy this, pass it for the action, and then close this. If we then go to our activity and actually create this, well, downloader, download, there is Android downloader, passing this as the context, and then we can say downloader dot download file, where we simply pass a URL. Let me quickly get that here. Um, you can use any type of URL, just make sure to adjust the 
um, MIME type in your downloader, in that case, to whatever extension that is. Or if you want to use my URL, then simply write this off or get it from GitHub down below. And if we now launch this, um, we will see that nothing works because I just realized we forgot the internet permission. Of course, in our manifest, we want to say users permission, internet, and then we can try this again. That's of course needed here. If we then take a look here, then we see a notification, download complete. Um, the other one was still from my other app, so we can remove this. And if we then go to our download directory, and here we can see there is our second file, which our app just downloaded. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now know how you can download any type of file in Android, which the user should actually be aware of. If so, then you will definitely also love my more advanced Android premium courses, which just go much more in depth than what I can show here on YouTube. So these courses will really teach you how you can become an industry ready Android developer. If that sounds cool to you, check the first link in this video's description. Apart from that, I wish you an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye bye.